Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and this is another blended blend video. I wasn't going to do one, but somebody emailed me with a question, and it does make me kind of feel good that they're blending a text, and that would be a pretty cool effect and pretty easy. So after they describe what they're doing, they're, they drew out a text, and, and you have to convert it to a curve so it won't be a text anymore to blend. But then he's taking the letters, and here's his problem. He's control D, and he's moving down. He's got his nudge distance set on a half of an inch, and then you can blend. But this letter here, control D, an A, does not blend. You can see right there, there's no, it's high, it's taken out, and he couldn't figure out what the difference was. Well, the difference was that once you convert it to a curve, you've actually got two separate lines here. And this will blend by itself, but it's not going to be what you're wanting. So what you need to do is select the A or all your letters with an interior part and go up to Arrange and Combine. Then you can Control D and cursor over and down and blend. This is a pretty cool effect. One more letter and then we'll quit for the night. And uh, I don't know what this would look like on wood and gray, but uh, it might look pretty cool. It's just a bunch of lines. Of course, I, I'm drawing everything in hairline, so you would need to change it to at least a half of a point to engrave. But while I was waiting on him to return an email with a, with a question I had for him on what was going on, I made these two blends using the spiral tool. The spiral tool is underneath your polygon tool, and I just held down the control button and made a spiral, and then control D and made a duplicate and just moved it over just a little bit, and then blended those two, and you get a pretty cool effect. It's almost like it's a, uh, a 3D effect. I mean, you can almost see like the edges of it. Anyway, I hope that answered his question. And thank you for watching.